We will start with Psalm 37. Psalm 37, 7 through 9. Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for Him to act. Don't worry about evil people who prosper or fret about their wicked schemes. Stop being angry. Turn from your rage. Do not lose your temper. It only leads to harm. For the wicked will be destroyed, but those who trust in the Lord will possess the land. The people who followed Moses for 40 years ran out of patience. They wanted to see the promised land right away, right then, and right there. They were ready to turn on Moses and do their own thing. They did not truly believe that God was leading Moses and his people to the promised land. But Moses did get them there as Moses was promised from God. It took 40 years, but it did happen. When Moses went up to the mountain to receive the commandments, the people believed he was dead and did not have patience to wait for Moses to come down from the mountain. The human race is not long on patience. You see it every day. People lose faith in God. Why? Because they think God did not answer their prayers right then and right there. But God does not work that way. In Romans 8, 24 and 25, we were given this hope when we were saved. If we already have something, we don't need to hope for it. But if we look forward to something we don't yet have, we must wait patiently and, confident, and confidently. To God, 1,000 years are but a day. But because God doesn't answer you right away, doesn't mean it won't happen. Sometimes you have to watch for the signs. Last week we received a donation of some beautiful and expensive luggage and out of nowhere and before my wife could catch herself she said that's a sign and a week ago Saturday when I went to bed I was up all night God told me to add Google Maps to my phone and I never cared about Google Maps before so when I woke up I added Google Maps to my phone and on Tuesday I received a phone call about a possible job and the woman wanted me to check out the property on Google Maps my point is sometimes when you when, when God did hear or or didn't care about your prayer he sends you signs to let you know that your prayer will be answered not in your time but when he thinks the time is right you have to watch for the signs and also when the signs are shown to you do not get mad or upset because your spouse's prayer wasn't answered was answered and yours wasn't God has a plan for everybody your prayer will be answered in a different way and in closing Remember what in 1 Corinthians 13, 14, or 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 8 says, Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. Love never fails. God knows what's best for you, and all you have to do is never stop believing, and remember your prayer will be answered in His time, and when He says it's right, and all in due course. And now with our benediction, Pastor Jessica. I've had a few friends in my day who think God and the world owes them a living exactly at that moment. Doesn't work that way. Like I said, it doesn't work that way. God makes things happen on His time, not man's. <clears throat> God isn't a trained seal who performs on your command. <clears throat> he does things His way. <clears throat> My advice, my advice is to wait and see. <clears throat> the best is the best is yet to come, and don't be mad and lose faith if it doesn't happen right away. It will happen. Give it time.